ग्रीटिंग्स नमस्ते बोंजू सलाम अलैकुम नेहा फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट माय हार्ट फेल्ट अप्रिसिएशन गोज टू मैग्ना कार्टा वर्ल्ड पीस सस्टेनेबिलिटी फाउंडेशन एंड आल्सो इट्स ट्रस्टीज हु हैव वर्क्ड रिलेंटलेसली फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस द मेन पिलर्स ऑफ दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस डॉक्टर प्रेम शर्मा एंड honorable catherine fletcher member of parliament deserve a lot of credit for making sure that this particular conference not only have the good self searching exercise in order to understand the lessons that we have learned up till now and carving out the path in future i am sure the various speakers that they have gathered here would have some input in order to promote the global peace in a sustainable way year 2023 i call it a year of reckoning is a time for self searching humanity is on a thin ice and that ice is melting fast those were the words of antonio guterres who is the united nations secretary general who talked about how this crisis is gulping us i would like to for a moment change the word humanity to the peace global peace is on a thin ice and the ice is melting fast there is definitely urgency to take action when antonio guterres talked about he was talking about a global warming and i am talking about war and peace we have to define where exactly the wars are are these wars with the factions are these wars between the people according to me these wars are against the nature and environmental degradation that is resulting from that wars is really causing what is called as a disaster it is in front of us covid 19 it was caused by the encroachment of humans into the nature the conflicts which we call it as a political conflicts are really the conflicts which are deep rooted into the need and the greed of humans for grabbing the natural resources and climate change is the result of indiscriminate development which is causing the emissions of the greenhouse gases to rise and the average temperature of the globe to be higher than what it is desired to keep the earth in balance frankly the globe is losing the balance i'm not only talking about the balance cycle of nitrogen carbon water i'm talking about the cycle in terms of respecting the nature in terms of the seasonal changes that happen in a normal way and the way that we are disrupting those balances and those cycles 100 years of nobel peace prize and 75 years of united nations whose main objective is the global peace have not resulted into avoiding the conflicts peace is elusive when we are living in the middle of crisis that is arising out of so many factors covid-19 is over that's what world health organization says surprisingly it is over without knowing what caused it we don't know its origin conflicts we know the origins but we don't know its end points we don't know how to end it and the climate change we know its origin we also know how to end it but we are not willing to act because we always consider that someone else will take action on a climate change and will save our lives like peace our actions and our feelings are elusive 
and it is important to know that we need to understand the root cause of disturbance and disruption of the peace. And for me, that root cause lies in our disrespect for the nature, our greed and need to depend on nature in an indiscriminate way of grabbing those resources. It is important that need and the greed for grabbing the natural resources need to be balanced so that it becomes a sustainable way. Root cause for the conflicts and the wars is also making humans as a central point, the focal points for everything, whether it is a development or well-being. This is very strange. No doubt we are 8 billion now, but there are 8 billion species and human beings is just one of them. And each of these species depend on each other. So it's worth thinking whether we should consider the development human centric or the ecosystem centric. Let's see where we are at present. We are in the middle of implementation of sustainable development goals. We are in the middle of implementation of 2030 agenda. And at the same time, we have been seeing that we are in the middle of exponential economic growth. In the last 50 years, the economic growth has been five times. And the extraction of natural resources is three times. And that is continuing unabated. We also have to see to what extent we can go further, but the report of the IPCC has very clearly seen that we have to halt this. The first halt should be 2030, where we must reduce the fossil fuel consumption by nearly 50%. And by 2050, we should stop using fossil fuel so that we do not emit the human-induced carbon dioxide. So what needs to be done? The first thing is we should continue the efforts as we have been doing for a few years. But at the same time, we have to respond to the new development of digitalization, the new threats that are coming from cyber attacks. And we also have to see that automated nuclear devices should be controlled. The actions on that need to be regulated. But apart from that, there are some new agenda that we need to implement. Number one is the business model for international financing need to change so that it gets reoriented towards the developing countries. And on top of it, we also have to see the partnership between developed and developing countries. They grow in order to control the climate change. It's very important for us that the new agenda is set, not only about the financial model and the business models, but also the models of partnerships and the commitment towards a net zero and the commitment towards respecting, trusting, and relying on the nature. Living on the nature is not a good thing, but living with the nature is a new mindset and a new lifestyle that we must adopt. Recognizing that this merciless, relentless and senseless war against nature has to end, I feel that Magna Carta World Peace and Sustainability Foundation should continue its efforts throughout the 2023 by participating in COP28, as well as taking a stock of SDGs during the SDG summit in September. That would give the continuation of efforts of this particular foundation. The war against nature has to end. Namaste. Merci beaucoup. Shukriya. Sheshe. Sheh.